Hello YouTube, Ronan Kazi here. Legendary Capital. So, season 11 is called Reign of Fire. So, I thought I would do a Reign of Fire build. And I'm using Imperial Dynasty Holster, which every 25 seconds or 20 seconds or 30 seconds causes some to get on fire. I'm <clears throat> using uh, the fire super weapon. I sped it up quite a bit. And I am using the flame turret. Flame turret's like on a 24 second cooldown. I got high recharge. We go through this first part pretty good. Uh, it's very effective in that first part, putting pressure on the, uh, not this part, not so effective. But in that first part, it got him off the bridge pretty fast. F Creeping Death. And this is like my Vile Jammer build, except I have replaced the Vile with Imperial Dynasty. And I got this rolling at two times speed, so it sounds horrible. I might probably just mute that because it's so horrible. Anyways, <clears throat> so we go in here trying to put it up there, but that guy's up there. I'm trying to put it there, but he's there. And like you always hear me say, that's not a great place to be, but because the turret is on such a fast cooldown and I forgot to bring the, all right. So, pause a second. Ultimate Shield did a video on this fire starter build, and kind of the main thing is you can ignite things that normally don't get on fire if you use the pistol. I thought I pulled the pistol out of my chest, but I didn't because that would have worked on the Johnny Fives and the dog. So, that's a fail on my part. And you can see we push really good. Or well, if I knew English. And at this first part, I'm pretty okay with this build. Actually, I'm surprised at how well it's doing. Short cooldown. So. It's where they spawn. So a lot of good stuff's happening. So... While I'm, <laughs> this is kind of meta, while I'm doing the legendary, I'm thinking of this video and how I'm going to say it. And then look, this is my new reign of fire for season 11, reign of fire. But it's okay. But you'll see it some places it's underwhelming. It does way more damage, like 170,000 per tick on the fire. But I want you to think about this part. It's a cone, cone abilities. All of your damage is really who you hit. And there's a to hit. When you're a weapon guy, that's, you know, how many of your bullets are actually landing on the target. That's what makes Heartbreaker and Striker. <clears throat> the more bullets, Striker used to have a penalty like every shot you missed it decreased it's less penalizing now but your to hit is important same thing with skills and so i'm so accustomed to the vile jammer automatically hitting everything all the time everywhere and lighting them up illuminating them for the team to see them um you know that's a thing you don't consider so we get here Decently fast. So I'm trying to think, you know, okay, this next part, I need to run up there. If I get up there pretty fast, I'm going to be able to set the turret where it's going to get most of those guys and we're going to lock them down. I'm trying to get them on a spawn. 
one thing it's going so fast but what you didn't notice like sometimes i picked up the stray and i'd light them on fire because every 30 seconds i can light someone on fire i have creeping death creeping death with any status effect is a great deal normally don't come up the left side but there's the turret and you can see they kind of push and it kind of makes a firewall so that's good i think i'm gonna get grenaded i roll up here and hide So I'm thinking about what's going to happen in the next part. Where am I going to put the turret? Probably I should focus on here, but I'm thinking of the next place that we're going to go to. And this guy's going around me on my right. And he's going to drop dead right at my feet. And I'm like, I'll shoot him anyways, because I'm incompetent. So, so far, so good. Also, uh, if this is the group, I think everyone was pretty low. Maybe this isn't that group. I'll have to see. Let me see if I can make this without stopping the video. Oh, no. These guys were all kind of high. Even though we're high, you're going to see what happens. Even though we're high level, uh, we don't have a lot of horsepower. Uh, the group I played in after this, they were all low level, and we went all the way through, and it was, it was great. So I used some of my exotic weapon or whatever my signature weapon get some of that ammo and two guys die right at my feet but we get them back up and that turret is just lighting them on fire so i'm really happy with what's going on at this point i'm also using the decoy <clears throat> and the decoy i think i mine's level 20 now the decoy is a good piece to help keep stuff off of your team. This is my thought with the decoy. What if I put the decoy near the fire so the people that try to, you know, melee the decoy end up getting caught in the fire. So I kept thinking about doing that. And eventually I'm going to have a moral dilemma. And so I don't want to do, this isn't really a build video because if I don't play the build, I don't want to, you know, just show you a thousand different builds that I experiment with that are marginally good. And then I have a whole video which portends that it's, you know, oh, this is great, but it, it, I don't play it in real life. <clears throat> but also, I want to show you that there's other things than, you know, the vile jammer, but <laughs> uh, again, the game is to play it however you want. It's like a shield build or a striker build. You know, there's certain things that are just uh, good. Stacking damage situations are always good. And the more and more I look at, like, chest pieces and backpack pieces uh for example creeping death is the poor man's eclipse protocol so there's other things that do some stacking damage there's uh i think it's on a chest piece stacking crits goes up to 25 percent increased damage and uh again that's nowhere near as good as heartbreaker or striker but you can get some of that functionality without going into green sets. I would really love to get a ninja, bicycle, knee pad, backpack, whatever it is. I built every build into Division 1 with that kind of wild card piece. Uh, I Just off the top of my head. You know, if you look at, there's a lot of pieces that have like armor, generation on kill. Like if you're soloing, it'd be great for heals but sometimes that might be a system corruption and you know another piece of uh getting stuff back the other thing that's neat with yellows you could really uh have two set 
pieces, which would be great. And I guess uh, on Rain of Fire, they have that new gear. And uh, I tried the hot shot. <clears throat> and I ended up doing a legendary on that with the hot shot. And halfway through, I got rid of the hot shot. Uh, it might have even been in this group. Uh, maybe not. I, I've been, i played a lot of legendaries. Okay. And what I found was I could never get it to proc in a legendary. You just can't stay out and get headshots like that. So I even had like a G28, a faster rifle that I could headshot more. It, it just, it just wasn't going to happen. So that guy, right, so I'm going to die because we're both trying to put our turrets there. And uh, he, <laughs> I think in the last video I said don't do this. My turret is short range. You don't need your turret there. So, but I don't want, so I'm just going to, I'm not getting them. I'm going to pick it up on move up forward. This is kind of one of the only problems. You need to be up front. We had a good healer in this team. Kept me up quite a bit. Yeah, and, and today I've been with like two or three matches where the healers were just phenomenal. So shout out to everyone that's healing. And so this is taking too long. Like, we shouldn't have dogs running through us. And I think that's what I tell you. When a dog runs through you, you don't have enough DPS. So, if I was vile jamming, I would have locked that dog down and we would have killed it. So, here's what I realize. This build is unique. It has fire. It does damage. <clears throat> but, it's not good enough in the group. So, I... I'm going to have the flame turret, and then I'm going to pulse them. Now, I don't have vial, so I'm just going to knock down the, the drones, but that's okay. And I don't know what to think about it. But you're going to see this takes a long time, even on double speed. This takes forever. So... I'm not real thrilled about it. And I catch a stray there. Not overly powered group. Not underpowered. It... The watch isn't like a perfect indicator. <clears throat> and so this is kind of what the moral dilemma is. So I'm doing these videos and I'm helping people get their weekly exotic. I got my exotic, whatever, the second night that this thing came out. Normally I do videos of the manhunt, all the, every, all the pieces of the manhunt, and I try to it's, I think one of my first videos is I did the whole manhunt and put it all together. One long, continuous, no breaks. Uh, and since then, I'll break it up. I mean, no one wants to see all that. Maybe you do. Depends how you watch it. Like, if you watch it while you're eating, you like to hear my dulcet tones, and my voice. <laughs> I appreciate it. But So I'm always finding which kind of thing. But here's what I realize. Am I really helping these people when I'm doing a video about a build? And so I'm realizing here, morally, I'm just fucking these people over. I don't mean to fuck them over. So I start pulsing, which stops the drones from coming in. But I, this is what I realize. And this is why probably, you know... I don't know. If I was in a clan, would it be fair to make the clan mates, uh, clan mates carry me through while I try all these jackass builds? No, I know what build works here. So now I'm going to try, you know, 
instead of the fire turret, I'm going to try to, it's like on a 13 second cooldown. It, it's just not, this is not the place for that. This is a vile jammer because you're going to go through the wall. <clears throat> and the guys that go out, you're in the wrong cho choke points. Here's what I'd like to do if I had a group of four people. This is what I'd like to try. This is a lot also to ask people. I'd like to run in there immediately, go underneath that platform, put turrets up all on all the corners, and fight from there. And have one person vile jamming underneath there. It'd force everyone to come over the top and come down to you, and you wouldn't have to get all these problems with the grenadiers said this in the last video you would never just fight here it's the worst spot to fight with and when you start thinking about the legendaries as you play them you would never play them to where the game forces you to but you have to have a coordinated effort to get to a spot where it would be okay a safe spot and really it's the grenadiers that are are killing you and then the drones So in a pickup group, you're going to be kind of at the mercy. So I go back even to, I got high speed, so I'm going to start throwing some seekers out. Where this is just way entirely too long. And so this is a good thing about the Division 2. You can't change builds in the middle. Right, so it's hammering home that point to me that this is not a viable build for a Legendary. <clears throat> now, if I was in a heroic, this would rock. I think I did a heroic and we rolled right through it. Okay, so I'm going to switch to Vile Jammer now. Because I've decided I don't want to screw these people over. They're just trying to get their exotic and here I am not doing my best. So I switch over. I switch a couple pieces. It's basically my same build you know, two pieces, and I am going to vile jam the crap out of these things. And I want you to see the difference in the speed. I speed this up quite a bit because this is boring. Turret up there, then I go to this wall and just pulse, pulse, pulse. And I think I've told this to you before. <clears throat> Excuse me. With this build, once you get past the outside, once you turn down that EMP, I almost can get every group to the end and and win not just get to the end but then win at the end because this is so strong in this because you're in cover want to thank everyone that comes to the channel that you comment and you subscribe i'm gonna call out some people of course ultimate shield 340 is great rich 85 who is also sloth mood <clears throat> great just a Gamer, Super Slanky, uh, Ms. Buffalo. Thank you all for coming to the channel and supporting it. I really appreciate all of you. Wish I could play with all of you in the game. I wish we'd talk and I could explain, hey, this is why I'm doing this. Sometimes I just think it's obvious why I'm, why I'm doing this. Uh, and I told Ultimate Shield, you know, when you combine this, with a blind, the vile jammer, you just have too much status effect. It's too overpowering. And so what I did earlier, <clears throat> I went to heroic and used Banshee with um I did a control point, heroic control point. I did Banshee with Blinder, and I could lock the guys down hundred percent of the time where they could never shoot. They were always under staggered or blind. So And they were all getting damaged with Vile Jammer, so it's that's great. All right, so here's the end. I'm going to slow it down, back down. Because I think, you know, this is the part <clears throat> that groups, uh, you might let down because you don't have to go all the way back to the start. But you're going to come out here and go to the left. Uh, what I've decided now is I've normally put the tour right around here, but I put it up there, and you see this chunga went down really fast. And again, we couldn't even get out of that Senate room. That guy goes down. 
We couldn't even get out of that House or Senate room. Don't go get him. Ronan, what are you doing? But I go get him, and the gods are smiling on me. And I pulse. And so we're putting things out so much, so fast. And what I've decided now is I'm going to put that turret on the ground, kind of in the middle to the left. Not on the truck, not on anything up in the air. I put it down lower so the enemy <clears throat> has to come out that breaks the line of sight. But that's where the majority of them come from. It's not the optimal position, but I found with what I'm doing, that worked really well. Because it doesn't shoot everyone, but it shoots the people I want it to shoot and it doesn't get destroyed too early, so it lasts a long time. Great heels again in this group. This was a fun group to be with. And this is what I'm talking about. What if I would have been vile jammer the whole time? They probably would have walked through this. But instead, I'm burning everyone in it. And when I'm in a group with someone that's burning, I'm like, oh my God, look, at we're burning them. But in reality, <clears throat> against Black Tusk, I'm legendary. Not for me, Clive. Does everyone in the group have to be Vile Jammer? No, you need one person. But what I'm urging everyone is to put that in your build and learn how to play it. And go do some normal, some hard, and some challenging with a Vile Jammer. It's intoxicating because you just kill everything. But I've said this before. Great groups have some, a shield guy, DPS guy, you have like a healer, and then maybe a skilled DPS. You need two DPS, though. And in the legendary, you need someone locking down the, the black tusk. So thank you all again. I'm going to fiddle with the sound. Let's see what we got. But it, at three times, it sounded like chipmunks. So that's the moral dilemma. Do I, when I come to play, do I play my best kit? Or do I make videos of kits that I'm not going to play? Because, <laughs> and, that, and that's why I've never put a turret there. I'm trying to put it there. I end up putting it there. Maybe that'd be a good place to put it. But that's the dilemma. People shouldn't have to suffer because I'm making videos. So I kind of went back on that. And if I'm honest with myself, I'm going to play, you know, the only alternative. The only alternative would be like a high DPS, skill DPS, high weapon DPS. But these, uh, these legendaries, the, the ones that came out. A long time ago are so easy that it really you, you really shouldn't mess around the legacy legendaries thank you again everyone appreciate it and i will see you soon ronan kazi signing off